everyone uh, in today's lesson i am going to connect to mac os 6 desktop remotely from windows uh, 8 desktop okay so i'll i'm going to connect, make a remote desktop connection uh, using vnc and first time what i'm going to show you i'm going to show you how to enable the um, desktop sharing or screen sharing in mac os 6 so I am using Mac OS X uh, Mountain Lion 8.0 and here I mean 10.8 and here I am going to System Preference and I am just going to show the step because I have already shared the screen and in the System Preference there is an option called Sharing and when you click on this one Uh, you have an option called sc screen sharing so it is already uh, checked okay so and here you have to make some configuration if you don't find uh, if you can allow access for all users set all users here or you can make only the only uh, specified user if you are concerned about your uh, computer ma machine security so don't prefer to all users and you can add users here if you want to get uh, if you have some other users like if you want to access as a, uh, give a access as an administrator uh, access, want to access you can give this I selected one user okay so that is this one and if you can you have to make some settings here one is uh, you have to enable the VNC because screen sharing is not VNC it has an option VNC and it's, if you click on this one you can see anyone may request permission to control screen okay so uh, you are going not going to check this because that may be a uh, security issue for your machine and this is the, the vlc viewers may control screen with passwords okay so you will any not anyone you want to give only vlc viewers okay and you have to give one password to it so i have said if you uncheck this and if you don't provide password then it will not work suppose uh, if I want to just make it without password make it blank and click on ok see VNC password is blank please enter a VNC password so I have to enter a password and click on ok and you have to give it go through the administrative permission okay without because you know every mac is very secure and if you have to go through every all the administrative uh, uh, you have to go through the administrative uh, permission for everything you do okay and if you give the permission you are opening the door uh, to your computer and if you, if you just invite vulnerability uh, you are responsible okay so mac just gives you the security without administrative privilege because it is based on uh, Linux kernel so everything is on super user so click on ok and it's done I have just configured the user here and it's done now I'll show you how to connect download the VNC viewer and connect to it So this is the page from where I have downloaded it is realvnc.com download gate 1732 details and if I uh, click on back it is there I am not sure just let me see where I have found it yes it is download vnc enter viewer real vnc and when you click on this one you will be taken to the page where you have to select your options if you are using 32 bit windows click this one you can also click uh, download a zip file I will click uh, just download the executable and I have 64 bit so I will download this one and after this it will come to this page you have to go through this page you have to see is the star the only name and email is uh, compulsory other things are optional just put your name and your email address and click on submit and your software is ready for download so I've downloaded software I'll just it is just executable not any no installer or standalone standalone executable 
software so this is the VNC viewer I did the IP address if you check with this uh, I, am, uh, I can't show you right now I'll show you after I can connect to the Mac OS X and encryption uh, many of the encryption is there preferred on preferred off always on always maximum maximum so I'll click this one let VNC server choose okay so when I click on it and there are also other options I'm not going to this one scale to window size full screen mode is enabled enable toolbar adapt to windows adapt to network speed it will adjust uh, the screen sharing data transfer according to the network speed okay so view only if you want to make it view only you cannot make any changes or something like that so I am not going to this one and there is also some other advanced option the scale to window size preserve aspect ratio when you drag it height and width will be changed accordingly in your constant ratio okay so and there are inputs if you want to control uh, enable input keyboard input uh, if you want to disable mouse input okay enable three button mouse in emulation Okay, share clipboard text, go copy something from Windows and paste it in the uh, Mac OS X. It will be done if you check on this one. Okay, file transfer enable can be enabled. But I think Mac OS X I have not done. Mac OS X does not allow in VNC file transfer. Enable chat and okay, so this is actually in uh, my local machine. Okay, so this local you can also. Uh, uh, do this uh, uh, if you are in a remote location and your uh, Mac OS X server is in a, have a live IP and you can connect to that if you have the user access, username, password and all that. And there are printing, sharing also and there is something called expert. I am not going to this one so that is all much of this one no more to show and click on ok and I will connect now so there is a message your authentication credentials will be transmitted securely but all subsequent data exchange will while the connection is in progress may be susceptible to interception by third parties this happens when you are doing it remotely from one location to another through via internet and if there is no proper intranet okay intranet firewall so third party intervention hacking type of thing can happen in between okay so this VNC is not as much secured as SSH secure shell okay so this is the password I show you the how to set the VNC password which is actually mandatory okay and now you can see why it is mandatory so I'm just providing the password here system I just told the password now okay so here I am. Okay, so I'm in my login screen. So what will happen if I log in? Do I get a new session or I'll be just put into my old session? Let us see. As happens in remote desktop, okay, in remote desktop connection, yeah, it is the old session, it's the actual session when I logged in, in by, into my Mac OS X, okay, so that is, that session has been, there is no new session, as happened in X Manager, if you connect to the X Manager, always there is a new session for everything, but here the existing session has been connected. So this is how about uh, connecting to Mac OS X desktop share Mac, Mac OS X desktop from Windows uh, Windows desktop using Windows and using Windows 8 you can use VNC viewer from anywhere from Windows XP or Windows 7 whatever 64 bit or 32 bit and uh, you need the uh, need to enable the screen sharing you have to download the VNC viewer so make some settings there and you can change your settings accordingly uh, as uh, accordingly use uh, want to give permission to your users that's all about
and this tutorial and if you uh, have any questions you can comment uh, send message or comment and you can also like or dislike my video and please share with me about your suggestions and experience with this tutorial thank you very much